This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and I'm continuing my series on disc padlocks today with this lock, the Federal Model 1000. Now, if you look at the key, you can see that this is a, a four pin lock. The keyway is, is somewhat paracentric, not as tight as some, but certainly not as open as others. Opens nicely, no dragging or anything like that. Seems to be, have a pretty nice build quality. Let's see how it resists a picking attack. Use some top of the keyway tension with a Sparrows pry bar type tension tool and my number seven hook in 18 thousandths. Okay, one is binding. Got a click out of him, went into a false set. Two, got a little counter rotation. Click out of him. I think we dropped one. Yep, I did. We got our false set back. Number three now. Little bit of counter rotation and lost our false set again. So I think, yep, go back to one. Okay, feel it as I was going by. It looks like we dropped two again as well. So got him set. Seems like we drop number one every single pin. Two, three, okay, four. Four is counter rotating. There we go, got him set. And what is holding? Okay, two dropped again him set, three seems set, I think four set, that leaves one, yep, and we got her open. So, a little bit of a tricky pick, not too bad, just four pins. Um, Rank-wise, what do we do with it? Well, it's a four pin lock, at least three spools, and there is one other lock that was the same way, and that was the Discus Model 2870. The question is whether or not I put it above or below the Discus. Now the Discus actually has a slightly tighter keyway than this Federal, so I'm gonna give it the edge and rank this below the Discus right there. So that's all I have for you today on my Federal Model 1000 disc padlock. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day.